you're listening to the Major Pod Network, the only place where your favorite toy store, bar, arcade, and arena are all on the same block. Scratch that major itch. Welcome everyone to episode 40 of MC True Long Island Story. I am your host, always ready, the internet champion, Matt Cardona. I'm also here, producer of the show, smart Mark Sterling Esquire. Uh, what's up, man? This is, we're, we're a little late, so if you, you're listening to this, we're when not the day late. comes out. We're not late. Not late. We don't say when on Thursday it comes out. Right. We just say it comes out on Thursday, so... And then there was that week time. that I forgot to make it live until like 8 p.m. So we had a busy, busy weekend. Um, I wrestled uh, Alex Shelley mm. in Detroit. It was the Detroit screw job. Uh, don't worry, it's going to be all documented for a vlog. I thought Detroit was a B town, Detroit mm. is an F town. Uh, I even told Big Kev that the next day at uh, the big <laughs> event. I said, Big Kev. Detroit, your hometown, F town. He agreed. Yeah. Um, but Alex Shelley, we've never touched. We've never met before. Like we haven't yeah. even. When I say we haven't touched, we literally never shook hands before. Mm. So to wrestle him was cool. Um, it was the Detroit screw job though, because he cheated to win. Um, Effie got involved. Ali Rag got involved. Uh, there will be footage on the Major Pod Network YouTube channel, Lil Vlogsky. Um, but I'm such a I'm such a tough competitor in the match. Um, I I sustained a career threatening, career threatening knee injury. Oh, I heard that. But, but I'm so tough that I I fought through the pain. I did it mm. for the people, mm. uh, even though it's in an F town. I did it for them. Fought through the pain. I think not only did I I get screwed, but my my knee injury. So I got you know screwed and I had a knee injury. So of course I was going to lose. Right. It was like. A double screw job. Right. And uh, I have gotten an MRI. The results are in 10% quad tear and strained MCL, but I'll make it. Now I'll fight through it. It's a bad question. It might be a stupid question, but when you say 10%, like does that mean there's 10% left or you only tore no, it 10%? Only 10%. What do you mean only 10%? 10% is a huge number, Mark. Out of 100? Do you want Do you want any percentage of your quad torn? <laughs> I probably tear every. I probably tear my arm scratching my back. So who knows? Well, ah! I'm fighting through it. I'm fighting through the pain, uh, and I'll do it for the GCW universe. I'll do it for all my fans. Well, hats um, off to you. You're yeah. a tough guy. I'm. I'm a tough son of a bitch. Also, making headlines this week. Sean Ross Sapp reporting. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon, WWE owner. Exchanged text messages with me, sent me not one but two smiley faces. I laughed so hard at that whole article, and I know that they were just doing it because you tweeted at them and all that stuff. Yeah. But it was still really funny, and it just saw proves a lot of how ridiculous yes. the internet and the yes. dirt sheets are. I love it. I love it. They're yeah. they're in on the act a little bit, for sure, for sure. But we got to get this going because I got to catch a red eye flight to Norfolk for a live rampage tomorrow. Uh, Jade Cargill versus uh, Red Velvet in the TBS oh, wow. title tournament. Uh, you know, did, we didn't talk about this either. Red Velvet threw some cake in my face last week. You're a cake eater. I'm a cake eater, I guess. That's right. <laughs> I didn't eat any of it. I got it all over my suit. What? One of my best hmm. suits all over. Actually, right here, Broski. My dry, dry cleaning, cleaning we'll see. There you go. We'll see if it got, if it if it the cake came out. But I got to make this flight uh, for this big match. TBS title tournament. All right. There you go. Let's do some good housekeeping. I got something right off the bat. Uh, all right. Uh, tell me. This is episode 40. Yes. And only 50 episodes aired on my original Long Island Ice Z channel. Mm -hmm. And we've stated that we are going to do all 50 mm -hmm. and then that's it. Uh, you know, the story of Z True Long Island story year one. It's very motivational, uplifting. Of course, there's peaks and valleys, but for the most part, it's a positive story. It's a feel-good story, an underdog story. Year two, not so much. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. I mean, it was Hogan wasn't involved, but man, was it was it a, a mm, 
I don't even want to get into it. Right. But year two, if we were to do how we do this every week, it would just be negative. It would just be, you know, of course there's some 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 funny skits and some high moments, but I don't want to have a negative podcast. I don't want to bitch and moan every week. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So we decided that we're going to end this show after 50, after 50 episodes. However, we are going to do more episodes on specific topics. And guys, I need your help. These are the topics we have come up with. We went to the Patreon group, uh, patreon.com slash major pod. Uh, these are the, the topics we're going to cover in additional episodes. First, I want to get big O in an, in an interview, my dad and Stanford has to be done. Yep. Those will be bonuses. I think kind of like we do with the chip Yep. These are the episodes I want to cover after episode 50. The first WWE episode, episode 100, which is the last ever episode. Yep. Um, Kane, which, you know, talks that would talk about Cena, Eve, the push off the stage, all that stuff. Uh, WrestleMania 28 and 29, because I lay out the challenge for 29 during the show. Mm-hmm. Um, the unaired episode. I want to talk about that. Uh, I want to talk about all the merch that's ever you know, came out from the show because it's crazy. When the show started, I had a basic t-shirt. That was it. And then I end with slippers, nightlights, crazy stuff. Right. Um, I want to do an episode on Hoski, even though that's technically not part of Z Trolling Story, but it's like the next week or the week after. Yeah, of course. And I want to talk about Last Resort, which would have been like the new show, which didn't really get off the ground. And of course, it's just a general Q&A. But if you guys have any other ideas of what would be a good standalone episode, uh, please let us know because, you know, we don't want the show to end, so we're trying to think of ways to keep it going. Um, so so hit us up on social media if you have any ideas for a standalone episode. But I think these are some great ones. Perfect. Uh, I'm looking forward to those episodes. I've been wanting to ask questions on a couple of them for a very long time. Um, let's... Quickly mention, thanks to Wrestling Universe, we recorded a podcast there Sunday night. It was very fun. Live podcast. I think one of our best yet. It was pretty neat doing the regular ass podcast in front of a lot of people. So Honestly, when this idea was presented, I wasn't into it. Yeah. Uh, because when we do our live shows, like we have Live 11 coming up in Orlando at the end of January. Yep. It's not really a live podcast, you know? Yep. It's like a comedy variety show, if you will. Yep. It's like one giant skit. So I was like, how are we going to entertain people on this podcast? But it was great. It was way more fun than it should have been. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And, you know, it was like the diehard fans, the people that just really love the major wrestling figure podcast. So they were in on everything. Plus, right. there were and some really cool bits that came out of it. Varu. Sure. And I love that it was such an intimate setting. I don't think that would have worked in front of 100 people. Yes. I'm happy we didn't plug in speakers and all that stuff. Right. I like it. It's very intimate. Yeah, of course, we played to the crowd a little bit, but for the most part, it was us doing the pod. At one point, I realized I'm not even looking at the people. I should probably look up every once in a while, you know, because I was like so focused on like the notes and stuff like that. Right. It was fun. It was very fun. So thank you, Jack, uh, from the Wrestling Universe. Um, really, really cool spot if you live on Long Island. So that was cool. Perfect. Um, I do really want to just one more plug right off the bat. If we could talk about FWF. Bro, what is FWF? Next week. Let's next let's week. let's talk about this. FWF Live. Um, we, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, have our own wrestling promotion. We've done one show so far. The Major Pod in that Network, show. So, what's that? The whole, it's all the all, the whole family. Major Pod Network has its own wrestling show. You know what I'm saying? It's not just the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. There's right. MC stuff there. There's Game Marks Podcast stuff there. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, but the last show, I was wrestling VSK. Chipetta got involved. My dad got involved. Big O got involved. Um, and now this time I'm wrestling Big O. Ten years in the making. The match, ten years in the making. Matt Cardona versus the Big O in a Long Island street fight. Now, guys, go to majorwfpod.com starting Monday to pre-order the show. Um, and when you pre-order the show, you will automatically get the stream to FWF1 to catch up. And Thanksgiving night at 8 p.m., FWF Live 2 will stream live, 
and we're going to do a, a watch along on social media, uh, a boozing with the toys, if you will, brought to you by Pass Blue Ribbon. And we're going to do a live watch along of FWF Live 2. Um, you know, Mark is in action. Mark takes on VSK. Brian Myers takes on Tatanka. The headbangers are there. And I will take on the big O in uh, a Long Island Street fight. And you know it's going to be a barn burner. I'm looking forward to it. There's so much stuff that that goes along with it. It's really fun to watch along with people. Um, it's a really fun wrestling show. All right. Yeah, so you can order just the stream and watch just the matches, or there's merch bundles, of course. Uh, things like uh, the Headbangers exclusive micro brawlers, or FWF Live 2, a whole set of trading cards, or some of the weapons that were used in the Long Island Street fight. Used. So, Will be, Will, Will be used. Will be used. <laughs> Will be used. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, real quick, couple follow-up things. Uh, Harry Flynn says Seamus was rock steady. We talked about that last week. Oh, did I say Bebop? Well, we were wondering which one. Okay. Uh, Matt Willis87 said, Matt, how did you ever work in the PG era with that potty mouth? That I brought this up. Legit question. What? I mean, you swear from time to time. Okay. So the question is, did you ever have a problem in a promo or a something or some sort of match or something where you might have let an F word slip or something like that? No, absolutely not. I mean, I'm a, I'm a professional. I'm a <laughs> total pro. This is our podcast. I know we have no rules, so I can say f*** all I want. Right. Yeah. And then I'm wondering if you knew about this, because I did not. Um, okay. Frank E91210 uh, says, hey, I'm sure you already heard, but what did you think about the shout out on Sammy Guevara's vlog? I I saw that tweet, but I did not see the shout out or the vlog. Oh, yeah, I did, did not you? see it either. I was I was hoping to hear from it, but we appreciate the shout out. We've, we've Absolutely. mentioned the vlog I hope, before. Hopefully it wasn't a call out because then I have to show up to AE Dub, <laughs> take that title from him. <laughs> yeah, the TNT title. It's op- open yeah. door. Yeah. All right, that's all I have. We want to go to the Broski of the Week? That's right. Let's go to the Broski of the Week after a word from our sponsor. The Major Pod Network has a new tag team partner, Paps Blue Ribbon. Everybody needs some liquid courage to make their own weekly purchases. Scratch that figure itch and scratch that PBR itch. Get your PBR beer, get your PBR hard coffee, and get your PBR stronger seltzer. 8%? If you're listening to this, you're already a major mark. Now it's time to become a major PBR mark. Use the hashtag MajorPBR and post your pictures and videos of you major marking out. Paps Blue Ribbon and the Major Pod Network, the new tag team champions of the world. Of the world! But we're definitely not getting any new figures from Mattel. All we're back, Paps Blue, Blue Ribbon. Before you do the Broski, take a, take a swig at you just take stuttered, Mark. Yeah, you're take tired. A Mark. Shot. Um, I'm gonna drink a lot of that in, uh, over Thanksgiving. So, uh, Broski of the week every week. Um, leave a review of this podcast wherever you get your podcast. Screenshot the review. Go to my Twitter at the Matt Cardona. Go to the pin tweet. Quote tweet it, and in that quote tweet, post your review. Use the hashtag Broski of the Week. If I read your review on air, you will be the Broski of the Week. You will get this: the sign Matt Cardona eight by ten, available on mattcardonamerch.com. You will get the Broski of the Week headband. Here's another thing, guys: only doing Broski of the Week till episode fifty. So there's only what ten more Broskis of the Week, and I'm telling you right now, these headbands are almost gone. I reserved the ten. But there's like less than 10 extra for sale. So go to macronomerch.com or come to an indie show that I'm at and buy them because I'm not reprinting these babies. This is it. And then you will also get the Broski of the Week sticker not available anywhere. Um, So the Broski of the Week this week is from Marcus BP. If you've ever been curious what life of a WWE wrestler is like behind the curtain, then this is the podcast for you. I've been a Zack Ryder fan since meeting him at a Kmart signing in November of 2011 and immediately binged all of ZR, True Long Island Story. It's, it's just Z, True Long Island Story. 
but that's okay. Uh, we are now 10 years from my anniversary of being a Ryder fan, and I am a full-fledged Mac Cardona Mark. The nostalgia that this podcast brings while revealing the thoughts behind the 10-year-old YouTube series makes for a fun, snackable weekly podcast. In addition to the hearing... Sorry, in addition to hearing about ZTLIS, we also get insight into the Deathmatch Kings current collecting matches and theme park addiction. Take 40 minutes out of your week and give us a listen. Remember to take care, spike your hair, and scratch that figurish. P.S. I'm bald. <laughs> so that was funny. So you are the Broski of the Week. Congrats. You're the Broski of the Week, pal. All right. Uh, here's your tweets for the week. Ten years ago, Matt Cardona says, November 14th, thank you, Boston Broskis. Now, whew. that comes up later. We'll talk about that. We'll later. talk about that later. But one of those Boston Broskis, um, Jamie Silverberg, and he sent me some footage that he took from that night. He had some footage uh, from the incident that we will talk about. Can we put that in? We will put that in for sure. Okay, cool. Uh, November 15th. Why do people have eggs as their profile picture? I've always wondered that. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, November 15th. No match for me at Survivor Series in NYC. Hashtag Manhattan Screwjob. Broski, you've been getting screwed <laughs> for 10 years. Long time, pal. Long time, pal. Uh, all right, November 16th. If The Rock got boots to asses trending, can I get Manhattan Screwjob trending? Help me out, Broski. <laughs> Did you get that trending? I'm not sure. Okay. Probably not, if you don't remember. November 16th. Will Twitter ever go out of style like AIM did? I hope. I, I, I took that because I hope it does. And then finally, November 16th, the Sunday night New York City MSG Survivor Series at Heel Ziggler defends the U.S. title against the real Morrison. Hashtag makes no sense. Now, obviously, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So I also, this came up in my personal Facebook memories. Yes. And I was waiting to see if these were tweets that, because I used to have my Twitter Mm-hmm. synced to my Facebook where my tweets would go, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But I wasn't sure if this was a tweet or an actual Facebook status. And since you didn't read them, I'm assuming these were actual Facebook statuses, like to my, which I don't know why I would ever post this on my personal Facebook. What did you write? One of them is, if you have Twitter, tweet this, hashtag Manhattan Screwjob. <laughs> okay, so you were really trying. <laughs> and the other one says, I wish having over 300,000 followers on Twitter actually meant something. <laughs> <laughs> You still are saying that nowadays, and you have two million. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, so here's my question about the Morrison yeah. thing. I was legitimately hot. I know, but Morrison's your friend. Is he yes. like, hey, man? <laughs> we all were like, what's going on? Okay, so he was kind of like, why do I have this match? Right, and like and it didn't make any the sense. Company soon after, right? Yes, we kill him off. <laughs> yeah, right. So that was the weird. I remember as a fan, I'm like. So he has this match, and then he's just his contract runs out. Well, it was like I'm doing this thing with Ziggler, not only on the YouTube show but on TV. It just didn't make any sense for Morrison to have. We're in New York. Listen, everything happens for a reason. Yep. And we'll cover Survivor Series when next week. I believe it's next week. Yep. It's a blessing in disguise that I didn't have that match at Survivor Series. I'm glad it went down the way it did. I'm gonna. This week, I'm going to watch that Survivor Series. I was there. I don't think Bro. I've watched it since, but I, but I'm looking forward to watching it again. This was not by design. WWE did not think, okay, so like we'll save the big Zack and Ziggler match. No. And, and, and hope that the whole crowd chants from. No, that was not their plan. Yeah. It just happened that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. And we talk about things being undeniable before. That night, it was unfucking deniable. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh, my God. I, so I was like backstage just grinning. We'll talk about it next week, but I was ear to ear smiling like, fuck, yes, I'm right. You're wrong. Hell yeah. All right, matches. You know, last week we talked all about that um, that uh, overseas tour. So on the so this show goes up on the on the 11th and then on the 12th. I'm sorry. The The day this show goes up. I'm sorry. Last week the show was on shot. the 11th, and then the next day you had 11, 12, 11. John Cena, Kobe Kingston, Zack Ryder defeat Awesome Truth, and Kevin Nash. Another one of these. I think he did three in a row at the Bulletins Arena in Minehead, Somerset, England, UK. So that's 11, 12, and then 
So then you have the 13th, theoretically, is either a travel day or you're off. And then the 14th is this raw situation. Okay? This 11th. raw situation? The dark Oh, it, it wasn't a travel day. We were flying from Europe to the United States. Right, 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 right. So you would just go straight to Boston there. Right, right. And then how would you get home from Boston? You flew into Boston. Actually, it's I don't know if we flew into Boston. It's possible that we flew into New York and had to drive to Boston. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember the flight situation. But either way, if we flew into Boston, I would have rented a car mm. and drove back to like JFK and had my dad pick me up at the, the National. Right, right, exactly. You know? Okay. Um, it's funny because... I saw Big Kev. I talked about this on the Major Wrestling Podcast. I saw him at the big event. Mm -hmm. He came over to me. I extended my hand for a handshake. He said, brothers don't shake, brothers hug. <laughs> <And I> was, <laughs> so great. And then also, I had uh, I had dinner with Mr. Cena this week. A little, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I reminded him of the story that 10 years ago on this tour that we've been talking about yeah. is the night that we were all drinking the Jack Daniels. We drank so much. There was none left. They had to get it from the back or downstairs or wherever they got it from. And the Jack Daniels was warm. And I took a shot and I instantly vomited in my mouth and kept it there. <laughs> and I tried to hold it, went to the bathroom, puked everywhere, but then kept oh drinking. Oh my God. Oh so, my God. Always cool to hang out with, uh, with John. He's, uh, he, he's the man. One of the most famous people on planet earth. Of course. That's right. But that match in question is a dark match, four on three handicap match. CM Punk, John Cena, Randy Orton, and Zack Ryder defeat Awesome Truth, Mark Henry. So, R Truth and The Miz and Mark Henry. Uh, on so, I don't Raw. have a match on Raw? So, you did not have a match on Raw, no. Huh. Okay. Dark match, uh, TD Garden, Boston, Massachusetts. So, okay. Here's my memory of this. I feel like we talked about this once before on the show, but uh, anyway. we, I think uh, yes, you did. We we did, but now is the time. Okay, so the way it was then, maybe not now. I don't know how they they have the arena set up now. Is that the locker room is not close to the gorilla position in Boston. like at all in Boston? So I'm in the locker room. Like, the show's over. I'm, I'm trying to, like, not sneak out. The show's over. I'm packing up, leaving, whatever. Yeah, hell yeah. And I feel like referees come and get me. And, like, CM Punk CM Punk is calling you to the ring. I'm like, what? 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 I, like, throw on a broski shirt. And I'm, like, gelling my hair as I'm, like, getting out there. Okay. Because the You're fans were chanting jeans? jeans. I'm in street clothes. Okay. The fans were chanting, we want Ryder. That Punk just did it. Punk got me. Oh, my God. Uh, and I'm like, dude, I couldn't even, like, so my hands are sticky with gel as I walk out there because I had nowhere to, like, wash them off, you know? Oh, my It was God. such a quick thing. It's yeah. like you have that, that dream where your entrance music's playing and you're not ready, but that's what happened. Holy crap. Yeah. It was, listen, it was so cool. So shout out to Punk for doing that. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, well, let's talk about it a little bit. I have a, some questions about it once we, once we get to it. Um, okay. But that it was the Boston Garden, uh, three point two rating. It was live, uh, so Cena and The Rock they're setting up the Awesome Truth uh, Survivor Series match. It's really the go home thing, um, you know, whatever. So right. The Rock is like a twenty minute promo that night. So that's what happened on Raw. All right, episode forty of Z True Long Island Story starts normal. You're finally back at home, recording this one. Um. I, did notice a, I, I noticed some new merch I was wearing, some wristbands. Oh, we, I, oh I didn't notice that. Some, uh, the the necklace. Cool. Really trying to plug that merch. I think it's great. Uh, you look awesome. Yeah. yeah. Sign of the week is Broski is greater than and than The Rock, which is very topical. <laughs> um, okay, so now you talk about it. Crowd's chanting for Ryder. CM Punk grabs you, and you're in the main event, and you cut a promo and says, everyone in Boston is Broski of the week. So this is the Broski of the week segment. Because I also want to... I also so want to give hard. a quick yeah. sorry. I want to give a quick shout out to someone who came to that um, to that Wrestling Universe store. I'm yep. sorry, I forget your name. He came from Chile just to meet us. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, and yes. I gave him, I I gave him the headband. I said, "You're the Broski of the week." So I guess this week we have two Broski of the weeks. Two Broski of the week. Yeah, that was so really awesome. I'm trying to figure out what this guy's name is. I put a I put a post in the Facebook group. No he response to, yet. He was supposed to tweet to you, but yeah, he, he did came not from though. Chile. He did not. He did not. Such a crazy um, thing. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Um, all right. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. So it's just a really awesome segment. Uh, but like after you're done, like, are you asking, is everyone's happy? Like, is Vince McMahon like, oh, cool, good job, guy? Or like, what's the deal? Uh, I don't recall. Like, All right, see ya. Yeah, I don't recall like any uh, interaction. Maybe there was, maybe there wasn't. Don't even know if Vince was in Gorilla by the time we got back. Right. But uh, super cool. Uh, there are some cool pictures uh, of that night of us, like all all four of us, like holding arms, you know, mm-hmm. holding hands. Um and I mean, for me, it was great because listen, I start the year off as as nobody can't ever get on Raw. Listen, I'm still, like still can't get on Raw, right? But the fans are demanding me, and now I'm ending the show, like the, the send the fans home happy with me, me, right. Cena, uh, Orton. You said right, mm-hmm. and Punk, like arguably three of the tippy top guys in WWE, and me in wrestling ever. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was a great moment for me. Uh, for sure. And then, you know, I got on the mic, I spoke from the heart, and I made all those broskies the broski of the week. So awesome. Uh, and then when you get out of the ring, by the way, when you, yeah. <laughs> you like jumped over the top rope all the way to the floor. And I was like, holy hell, that is athletic. Like a, it's like a house show dive, but land on your feet. I guess I would break every patella tendon I have. <laughs> all right. Let's, real quick, let's look at, um, Tommy Boy's footage here, okay? Okay. Let's let's play this first clip right now. Wow. You know, 39 weeks ago, I started a little YouTube show called The True Lawyer Story. And, and, and the reason I started it was to either get noticed or get fired. And because of all you people, I got noticed. I was just in the ring with CM Punk, John Cena, and Randy Orton. At the beginning of this year, I couldn't even get on TV. So everyone in this building, you're all the pro ski of the week. I was already. All right, so you saw that clip right there. Yeah, it's really neat that your friend was in the crowd, uh, Tommy Boy from Massachusetts, Jamie Silverberg, recording this this footage. Your your whole promo there. You really shout out thirty nine weeks. You say of the show leads you to yeah. the main event on Monday Night Raw in Boston. You make everybody broski of the week. It's just a, it's a great little promo, uh, spoken from the heart. I'm sure. Absolutely, um, and obviously impromptu. Right, <laughs> didn't, didn't have this rehearsed <laughs> exactly. Now the Always second, ready, baby, even back the then. Sec- yes, and the second clip is really great. Let's play it right now. All right, so great, great shot there. You are celebrating in your jeans at the top of the stage. Yeah. John Cena's music is playing. And he gives you a little nut tap. A little tap? A little tap. Uh, a little tap. <laughs> so, I don't know. Pretty cool. Still messing with you, but nice little night. All right, yeah, let's get back sure. to the show. You say you went to the 96 and 2000 Survivor Series as a fan, and it seems like this year you're doing the same thing, and you're pissed. Morrison's in the match. What is going on? We kind of already talked about that. Yeah, but one thing I always like to incorporate is to show how much of a fan I really was. So the fact that I still had the shirts, mm. I still to this day have those shirts. Mm. Um, I thought that was important. And I think that really connected me with the fans. He is a fan. He is just like us. So Absolutely. let's let's support one of our own. Absolutely. Yeah. You say first Bret Hart and then Zack Ryder, Manhattan Screwjob. <clears throat> we talked about that. So she feels bad. Uh, so she, whatever. She feels bad that you got him a ticket to Survivor Series, but you first of all that that ticket from good old Raph. Oh yeah, 
Raph is the man getting those tickets in advance. <laughs> now, it doesn't even make us do the will call bullshit. In advance, Raph is fucking the man now working for AEW. Super cool dude. Um, he always took care of me, for sure. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I, I never, I never abuse the system, you know, like some people do. Yes. But very cool. Got me those tickets in advance, uh, so it's perfect to use for for the shot. And you see, that was legit Chiapetta's living situation. Yeah, the, a the twin size mattress. Yeah. Um, it's funny because we passed that apartment this week driving to the uh, Wrestling Universe, so it's in the vlog. Uh, but then it was really just a setup to show the new Zack Ryder nightlight. Right. So, which yeah. is a really cool thing, and also random. When you see this, um, do they tell you in advance, like, "Hey, we got a nightlight coming out," or, or is Bro, it just like you saw it? Listen, on the internet? This is this is legit. Okay. This is legit. I used to every day just go to WWEshop.com and type in Zack Ryder because there would always be something new. Really? Yeah. Like right around this time, you would start doing it. Even like for the next year or so. Right. The like, because they were still pu- they were still pumping point. out merch. Yeah. So, like, uh, of course, like. If I were to get like a brand new shirt, I have the input on that. So I know yeah. it's coming. But like right. the stuff like this, they would just slap my logo on, you know, because they would also have a Cena nightlight, Kofi, Mid, you know? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So I, I was always just typing in Zach right in the search because who knows what would come up. Now, you don't have to, you can just say yes or no. Around this time, the merch checks start getting pretty good. Mm, it's more. Yeah, I guess it's the, it's around this time, yeah. Okay. I guess it's like the next quarter. Right. Because they come quarterly. That's cool. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I, I would say, yeah, around here we're starting to get them, you know? Especially for, going from like no merch to ton of merch. Yep. You know? Absolutely. The most money I ever made in WWE was 2012 because even though I was on the decline – on television, the merch is still selling. People still the like merch it. was still selling, right? You're still on the shows. You yes. probably lose so it. So the most I've ever like ever made in WWE was that 2012 year. Wow, because of because of the royalty checks, of course. Yeah. All right, this next segment is an all time for me. Um, I think this is in the Boston Garden because it looked like it is. It is. It's yes. before the show. So, so you think you can dance was popular at this yep. point? So it's a dance-off between me and John Morrison. Stanford kind of sets it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go back and forth dancing. And if you know Morrison, he's uh, he's into all that. Break dancing. I don't know. Break dancing, uh, parkour, flippity-floppity moves. <laughs> and uh, it was just very entertaining. Uh, obviously, I can't dance. I, I love really, that. I you start <laughs> fist pumping. Then, then you like when it comes to you the next time, you're like, I, I, and you, now you're doing two hands. It's a double great. fist pop. Yeah. 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 I thought it was really funny. And, and Morrison's killing it. So you also twerk. And then you say that Eve taught you that one, which is funny. Yes. Uh, foreshadowing. And then I, I, then we go to the judge, which is my dad, looking very lean. I don't know if this is like post or pre uh, bodybuilding competition. He's got the, the, Morrison, the Morrison shades in one hand, the Zack Ryder ones in the other. And you think he's going with his son. But puts on the Morrison ones and 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 says Morrison's the winner. Yeah, come on, Dad. So, what a skit! I loved it. Great dance moves. This this one I think was one of the best Z True episodes ever. Uh, I agree. There's so much yeah. in it. Yeah, so much in it. Real stuff that's happening plus the skits yeah. plus promos. Uh, Big O is pissed. He's in the gym. He's pissed about uh, the Survivor Series. Um, and if he ever sees Laurinaitis, he's, he's going to meet a knuckle sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm thinking like Big O is just screaming in the gym doing this promo. People must have been like, "What is this guy doing?" Right, Bro, Big O wants all the attention. Ah, so he he loved it. Sorry, so guys, gotta up, do this promo. He probably messed up on purpose to do more takes. <laughs> um. All right. So then you finally admit that the Morrison Ziggler match is going to be a good match. Um. But he, you show footage of what it should be, and then you show footage from the video game of you sort of winning the match and the title and all that. Yeah, so I got the people at, is it 2K at the time? Yeah. Is it 2K or is it still THQ? I don't think it's THQ, but I don't know. We'll have to I think Actually, I think it is. I, I think it might still be THQ at this time. Okay, all right. So I got them to create this for me. Me 
beating Ziggler at Survivor Series for the U.S. title. And then they sent me the footage and I put it in. It was awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and then you do you're you're gonna do a normal closeout, but Ziggler hacks in during the just take care. Yeah. And he is saying you're wasting time with the position with the petition, cuts another good promo. He says you're not going to MSG. And he's getting more use out of your old items, and he's not talking about the HDMI cable because Princess Leia to the Star Wars theme comes up and starts making out with Ziggler. This is, first of all, this is an all time segment, in my opinion. I agree. She gets up, wipes the mouth. <laughs> so I guess Kids Ziggler show here. Well, we, we, yeah, I don't know. She must have. I don't know. Ziggler got that snowball. <laughs> right. Uh, and he liked it. <laughs> Zig Man 101. Oh what a my segment. God. And li- who, this who is like this. Princess Leia. Obviously, it wasn't the Princess Leia. Right. Um, it was Nikki Bella in a Princess Leia costume. Oh, really? Um, and uh, wow, you heard it here first. That is yeah. some. Uh, that's some juicy goss. And um, this is proof that nobody was watching it in WWE. Right. You can't get away with <laughs> like insinuating a blowjob. <laughs> right. Wow. You can't get it like. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Pushing the envelope, baby. Pushing the envelope, but you're but man, he is with your ex girlfriend. What a move. In, sto- in storyline for sure. Right. And, and the best part, I sent that to uh to Ziggler this week. Uh <laughs> and I want to tell you exactly what he said because it was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> he wrote in all caps, the greatest moment in the history of your show. F- yes. <laughs> This aired on WWE YouTube channel. I said, LOL, it didn't. It's still on my channel this time, but still. Um, I wrote, they get the money every time someone watches it, though. LOL. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They wrote, F- what a scam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, man, that's great. All right. All-time episode. It's great. Uh, we're going to close this out. But first, a little word from our sponsors. We're back. All right. The Are You Serious Bro Tweet of the Week. What do you got? Are you serious, bro? Real simple, guys. All you got to do is tweet me something. Use the hashtag Are You Serious Bro. If it pops me and I read it on air, you will get an 8x10. This one comes from Mean Streak Matt. There's a red carpet premiere for Ghostbusters Afterlife in NYC tonight. And at the Matt Cardona isn't on the guest list. Hashtag Are You Serious Bro? thought that was a perfect Are You Serious Bro. Hmm. Awesome. Ghostbusters Afterlife comes out this week. Comes out today, right? Technically, I'm seeing it tomorrow, so got to stay off the internet. But uh, man, I've been getting so itchy at the premiere. They gave out Ecto One, and I know that's not going to be in the stores. So uh, I've already bought a bottle from somebody. <laughs> uh, but I need to buy another bottle to actually drink. Right. So yeah, I'm, I definitely got to see that. I want to actually want to watch both. I might do that this weekend. We'll watch both of the Ghostbusters and then go see it. Ooh, I don't have time to do that before, uh, but I'm very, very excited. I've been waiting since 1989 for this, so I'm pumped. Yeah, I like how we're just ignoring the other one. Okay, know your well, bro. Doesn't count. <laughs> Russ Linderman, at Russ Linderman, says, uh, this is not even really a question, but I liked it. If you're not a Matt Cardona fan, are you even a pro wrestling fan? I know it's not uh, the true use of the hashtag, but I think it's fitting. Hashtag Cardona is wrestling. Hashtag know your bro. So nice little tweet putting you over. Uh, I I agree. I did want (laughs) to say this. We talked about this match, Broski versus Teddy Goods. Broski with Smart Mark Sterling versus Teddy Goods. Beyond Wrestling. Uh, It is available for streaming on independent wrestling TV, IWTV.com. I believe you can sign up free for five days if you use code BEYOND or Silver Balls. So you use those codes, you can get five days free. So if you just want to watch that match, go ahead and do it. It's free. It's free. Like Twitter. That was one, that was one of my uh, like all time favorite matches. I'm talking not just on this indie run, like in my career. I've been having some of my favorite times wrestling. Um, 
post WWE. Yes. And uh, even the match I had with Alex Shelley in GCW, even though I lost, um, I was so fucking pumped afterwards. I was like, Fuck yeah, like I was, it, man, it just, it was a banger match. Everything in my head uh, that I had in my head delivered. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The crowd responded the way I wanted them to, if not even more. Uh, and that's what's so special about these uh, these crowds. And you know what? There's going to be times you think you're going to hit this home run and you don't. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I just want that that opportunity to try. That's what I've always wanted. That's that's the whole point of the the first YouTube show. Even this one is to inspire someone to take a chance. But uh, yeah, there's absolutely no way everything I do is going to be a home run. But I at least I get you know to swing. Yeah, right. I just want to well, swing, baby. I don't even like baseball, and I want to swing. I was just talking to somebody about this this week, actually. Your famous quote of there's only three things you can control in the WWE, and that's your physique, your gear, and your attitude. Yeah. But now you can can control your physique, your gear, your attitude, and (laughs) your matches. Yeah, I mean. And all that stuff. So now you can swing for the fences. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, it's nice that these promoters that I'm working for, A, trust me. And be like, allow me to, yes, a lot of them are on, on streaming services where there there is time, but it's not like a, it's not like we're going to, you know, if we go over five minutes that we're going to, you know, we're mm. going to screw somebody and USA is going to, you know, it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. None of that's going to happen. It's, it's not going to be this ripple effect where like the show is going to go over and USA is going to cut the show. Nothing like that's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. So it's been, it's been so much fun. And, you know, this week I have Impact Wrestling, uh, Turning Point Saturday. Uh, very excited about that. That will be live, live, live on the Impact Plus app, uh, Impact Tapings. Next week, go to AIW to defend uh, my Striz app. Um, WrestleCade, I'm taking on Jay Lethal in a match that just got instantly more interesting because Jay got a new job in AEW and... At WrestleCade, I'm going to do another new job. Mm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going to lose. <laughs> before Get before it? we continue plugging, let's uh, let's just finish out the show here. Characters debuted uh, in this episode, none, but returning Morrison, Ziggler, Chi, Dad, and Big O. Uh, and Stanford. This, Stanford. Stanford, too, yeah. And Princess Leia. Oh yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, it's kind of like the mom in Fresh Prince. Yeah. Still the same character, but a different actor. <laughs> But but you don't know that because it's shot from behind. Right, true. True. Uh, this episode, seven minutes and 29 seconds. It's a long one. 285,000 views. This is the longest uh, episode yet, but it went by really fast. I think I that think dance-off so. was, just, <laughs> was just killer. There are definitely some long ones coming up where I'm showing raw footage, and it's a bit redundant showing the footage, but also at the same time, it's like, no, f*** it. I'm finally on Raw doing something badass. I'm going to show the goddamn footage. I agree, 100%. Yeah. Um, all right. So, prowrestlingtees.com slash Major WF Pod. Hey, there's a big sale coming up. Black Friday sale. It's not just for that Black Friday. It's a it's a big sale. It is one of their biggest sales of the year. It is one of those things that messes up Pro Wrestling Tees for weeks. Because oh, yeah. Because there's so many people that buy shirts. So I encourage you all to check that out, and I believe, I believe in that time. This is very important, uh, and Matt can attest. I believe I will have an official AEW shirt coming out. So really, yes. So that's if awesome. that does come out, uh, please <laughs> check that out. If you're that's a fan sweet. of this podcast, fan of me, fan of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Um, today I'm wearing this. Uh, check this out. This awesome Platinum Max mic drop. I like Japanese it. style shirt. I dig um, it, man. You know what's funny about this? He said it was the, his best seller. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, that's funny because we released that Japanese style major pod shirt and it sold sold so good. Yeah. People like that uh Japanese style shirts, I guess. That's right. Um All right, what else do we got to plug? Uh listen, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Um the Facebook situation, I don't think we're gonna get fixed. No. <laughs> I would love it if somebody could help me out. Um, you know, follow us on social media. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this podcast. Tell a friend about this podcast, even though it's almost over. We still got at least 20 episodes left, mm-hmm. you know, because the 10 and then another 10 or so. Right. Uh, so, and then I want the, you know, we're not going to delete these. They're still going to be up. Yep. 
So, um, you know, it's it's binge worthy content, in my opinion. Um, also, guys, youtube.com slash major pod network. A lot Man, of the vlogs. 400 you know, subscribers away from 100,000. Guys, it, it, if everyone just, if everyone listening to this just pause this podcast right now, went to YouTube and subscribe, we'd be over 100K. And mm-hmm. then we get the nice plaque. So I'll have, I'll be broski two plaques because I got the one from the original YouTube channel. And then the Major Pod Network YouTube channel. So I'll be very, very happy. I'll be a happy camper. Um, but yeah, man, a, a lot's going on. This is a, a wild, wild time in the wrestling world, obviously. Uh, you know, it's a great time in the wrestling world for wrestlers, for, for fans. Uh, I'm super, super busy. And that's, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. So it's great. And I thank you guys for the support. Um, you know, FWF this week. Please check it out. Pre-order start Monday. Uh, the stream will air live on thursday but then you'll have a couple extra days to watch it so don't don't be paranoid if you're oh, i can't watch it at 8 p.m that's fine yeah you have plenty of time. Uh, you'll have a couple days to watch it afterwards um we get with the holiday toy draft for the major rest of our podcast check out our social media for all those details and and you know if you're a fan of us a fan of the major figure podcast and you want to see us perform a live show come come you know to what we have one in in January, the end of January in Orlando, live eleven. It's going to be great. And just announced today, we're going to be on the Jericho cruise in March with a live podcast. So uh, check it, check us out. We have so much stuff on social media. Uh, it's hard to, to to keep track of all the plug. And I have some hot. So my hot sauce has been selling so well. Uh, the heat magnet hot sauce. Pick those up. Snack seasons, baby. I can't wait for my personal stash. There's a couple left as of this recording. So pick those up. Just go to social media. You'll see, you'll see everything. Hell yeah. All right. Take us out. All right, guys. Uh, make sure you take a swig of Major PBR and like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and take care. Spike your hair. Joe!